all dressed up and having a big old time, huh? Yeah. Hey, hey, how you doing, man? after the show. <laughs> no, no, Brokeback Mountain, that's stuck on the As a matter of fact, I wasn't even talking to you, I was talking to the row of girls in front of me. Johnny Lee don't play that. Ain't nothing coming in the back door here. They make a movie about a couple of queers getting with each other when they got a whole herd of sheep there to mess with. So I ain't, I ain't going to go look at that, but don't get me started on that. However, I am going to Nashville, Tennessee week after this. I'm auditioning for a lead in a movie. Not a takeoff on Brokeback Mountain, but it's, I'm doing this uh, kind of like a sequel thing. It's about a cowboy that's having a relationship with his horse. <laughs> hey, I think it's a great script, man, because if it don't work out, I still got to ride home. <laughs> Y'all know why the Siamese twins moved to England? So the other one could drive. <laughs> so sorry for that one. Uh, I'm writing a new song. Uh, just about finished with it. It's going to be on my new CD coming out. It's called If Your Heart Was As Big As Your Ass, You'd Take Me Back. <laughs> just about through it. I'm anticipating it's going to be a big song. wrote this and it's going to be on the I, I married a moonshiner's daughter and she made me look her all night. I'm so sorry for that one. Too. I met and became friends with a young man by the name of Michael Martin Murphy when he played down this little beard drum. Pasadena, Texas, a little place called Gillies. They used to have a short guy play piano and sing for me down there. Probably heard of Mickey Gillies. I'm going to clear this up right now. I'm not Mickey Gillies' cousin. Everybody thinks we're cousins. The cousins is Mickey Gillies, Jerry Lee Lewis, and Jimmy Lee Swagger. The good and the bad and the ugly. Mickey Gilly and I used to fly to Faraday, Louisiana a ton of times on Sunday mornings. We'd have breakfast with his mother. She made some of the best biscuits in the world. You put one on top of your head and your tongue would beat your brains out trying to get to it. And uh, I went down there one time and Jerry Lee, Jerry Lee and, and the Reverend was there. Uh, but they were kind of uptown country people. You see, they had them a three hole. <laughs> this was like in the winter time, and we was having breakfast. Now Jerry Lee Lewis gets up from the table, excuses himself, and goes out to the three hole. Well, that's okay, you know. Then he comes running back in the house and gets him a coat hanger and straightens it out, and he's headed back out to the three hole with his coat hanger. My curiosity got the best of me then. I followed him out. And I opened the door in the three hole, and he was in that center hole, digging down there with the coat hanger. I said, "Killer, what are you doing, man?" He said, "My coat fell down here." I said, "Man, you ain't gonna wear that thing, are you?" He said, "No, but I got a biscuit in the pocket." Call Reverend Swaggart before we left there, and I said, I wanted to get this out of the way so we didn't come up at the breakfast table. I said, Jim, look, do you really think them ladies of the night that you got caught with, do you really believe it is worth saving? He said, Oh, oh yes, brother. Yes, brother, deep down in my heart, I do. I said, Well, look here, me and Gillies flying up there this afternoon, save us a couple of hours. Michael Martin Murphy wrote this song and I changed it all up. It's a true story about the old Cherokee 